Hey guys, so today I'm just going to be giving you an overview of the keto diet, what it is, how it works, and how I've lost the weight that I have. Um, so basically it's a high fat and low carb diet used to make your body produce ketones and burn fat as energy and um, switch to doing that instead of using carbs as your fuel essentially. So you want to eat as little carbs as you can so that your body stops using it as energy and uses the fat that you are eating in higher amounts as your fuel. So um, you want to eat a lot of coconut oil, uh, eggs, avocados, meat, full fat dairy, butter, and just everything you can think of that is high fat and low carb. You have to learn how to read labels because there are things that have carbs that you wouldn't think have that many carbs and you when you're counting your carbs and you're trying to stay under 20 grams of carbs a day it does get hard because every little thing adds up. You have you know three meals with five or six grams of carbs each you're already at your limit and if you're snacking in between it's the, or you're drinking things that have carbs in them you're not gonna lose the weight that you wanna lose so make sure high fat low carb um, so uh, my favorite meal uh, just for an example of what you would eat on the keto diet I love a burger with some bacon, some sautéed mushrooms and onions, and then some cheese melted on top. It's, you know, high fat, you have, you know, still decent nutrients, and I'll put it on a bed of, you know, on a salad or like a lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, so that I get veggies because <laughs> you are going to want to eat make yourself eat vegetables. You can't just eat meat and cheese this whole diet. It's not going to work. You're going to stop yourself from losing weight. If you get too much protein and you're focusing on your on eating meat, it's going to up your protein levels and that's going to stop you from losing weight. I've had people tell me that they've hit plateaus because they started eating too much protein. So make sure that your ratios are right. There's a lot of um, macros calculators on the uh, internet you can find that will tell you kind of exactly how many grams of protein versus how many grams of fat, how many carbs that you specifically are going to need in order to lose weight on the keto diet. Um, so it's really easy to find. But uh, like I said, I keep my carbs under 20 grams a day and I try to eat, you know, plenty of fat and I add fat on top of my protein filled meals so that the ratio is still closer to what it's supposed to be. And don't worry about it too much. Don't get too scared. I mean, it's not like you're going to die if you eat too much protein, but just something to be aware of. Um, I like the <laughs> topic of veggies because there are some veggies that are fine for the keto diet. There's a gray area and then there's some that you just absolutely shouldn't eat. Um, and veggies and fruit. Uh, most fruit you're not going to want to eat because like I <laughs> looked it up and a single banana has about 30 grams of carbs. So uh, they're very sugary even though it's uh, simple you know sugar and carbs it's going to still knock you out of ketosis if you're trying to stay in it. So avoid a lot of bananas and fruit in general. You can have like Citrus, if you want to squeeze a lemon, squeeze a lime, have, you know, even an orange I think is okay every once in a while, but just don't go overboard. The same with berries. You can have raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, but you don't want to go over having a little handful of them. Otherwise, you're going to end up getting in the teens of carbs and it's not going to be good. So, um, and as far as veggies, I mean... I think mostly you want to avoid root vegetables and beans and legumes uh, because they're the ones that contain more carbs like sweet potatoes and potatoes and um, kidney beans, black beans, all that stuff. Those are going to be higher in carbs. Uh, even though they are usually higher in other good things, it's still too many carbs that will kick you out of ketosis and you don't want to do that. So instead of, you know, having mashed potatoes, 
You can have mashed cauliflower, add the same spices, add butter, add bacon, add cheese, whatever you want to make it taste like a loaded potato because cauliflower is one of my favorite veggies on the keto diet. You can make it anything. You can make it mac and cheese. You can make it mashed potatoes. You can roast it and make you know, stuffing, and there's so many things that you can do with vegetables um, that are going to be in place of pasta, like zucchini noodles. Uh, I love those. You just throw some butter and garlic salt on them, and you can't even tell the difference. So, um, yeah, I do think that there's a lot of research involved in starting the keto diet because at first I was like oh cool so I can just eat meat and potatoes all the time and I quickly realized you cannot eat potatoes all the time on the keto diet so <laughs> um let's see oh so <laughs> the keto diet comes with a little a little catch you're gonna end up going through in the first about week of the keto diet when you first shock your body into using fat instead of carbs. Um, it's a natural state ketosis is so it's not like detrimental to your health or anything uh, but it does make you feel sick. That's why it's called the keto flu. Um, I ended up I was a little constipated, I was groggy, a little crabby and uh, just fatigued, nauseous basic side effects of anything that you do really <laughs> but um after about a week of that I did realize that I was losing like a pound a day for that whole week so I felt good but despite the sick feeling and uh after that week I really noticed a complete boost in my energy I noticed that I was drinking more water naturally and just loving it I, because during the keto flu I was dehydrated so I drank a lot more water anyway but it just came way more natural than it used to with me I used to avoid water if I had juice or soda on hand because it was no big deal but um and I lost a lot of my appetite I only eat like twice a day I used to snack I used to think that eating six times a day was healthier for you and better and even though I was trying to do small meals, they always end up being a little bigger, a little too big, or whatever. So um, it definitely stopped me from all the snacking late into the night. I actually stopped eating breakfast because I do something called intermittent fasting. Uh, for 16 to 18 hours of the day, I don't eat. And that's actually most days. I know some people only do it a couple days a week, but... I just naturally don't really get hungry until about noon and um, 11 o'clock maybe and then I eat 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 until I'm full and then I usually stop around five or six so but I do allow myself to have something a little bit later into the night around seven or eight if you know however my schedule ends up going if I'm running around and I can't get home until 7 or 8, it's not going to make a big difference because I'm still not going to eat until noon the next day. So, um, but that being said, I mean, you really lose cravings and uh, huge, if you have a huge appetite, all the, the fat and uh, the lack of carbs is going to make you feel full. And uh, despite the constipation, you will realize that there are ways to get fiber into your diet. There are ways, you know, I take a multivitamin. I make sure that I have a shake that has a lot of fiber because that's like probably the most major issue that I've had with this diet because it lasted a little bit more than the first week. I really had to get into the groove of things and kind of figure out what's going to keep me getting all my nutrients, keep me regular, keep me, you know, feeling good and being healthy, not just losing weight because I'm more concerned about being strong and fit than I am about being skinny. So um, another thing about the keto diet is if you do it right, you're going to lose weight really fast. You're going to drop seven pounds in seven days it's like the fad diets tell you this actually happens which is completely mind-blowing because I didn't think with um, 
how I've been all my life, just how big I've been and how hard it's been for me to lose weight and how low my metabolism is. I never thought that I'd be able to lose 12 pounds in 12 days, 15 pounds in 15 days. I mean, it really just was a pound a day for almost three weeks straight. And then after that, um, two months after that, those last two months that I've been doing it, I lost another 20 pounds. So um, I did hit my plateau. I got through my plateau. My plateau was basically the whole month of November, including and especially Thanksgiving, because I completely threw my diet out the window for two days, Thursday and Friday. But um, so the keto diet essentially is just high fat, low carb, and you want to um, make sure that you're still getting the nutrients that you need, even if it means taking a multivitamin, even if it means, you know, making shakes or whatever. Um, yeah, so uh, in my next video, I'm going to be telling you my favorite snacks and my favorite treats, and I'm just going to be going a little deeper into the food, and I might even prepare something. So uh, thank you for watching, guys. Have a good day. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thank you.